Okay, so I'm out for a walk this morning. You can see my hair looks completely different because I've had it cut. Um, yeah, so yesterday I waited like a good hour in line because people, some of the, the men that were getting their hair cut yesterday were so fucking fussy. It was unreal, it was like, oh, it's got to be right. And people who didn't need a haircut went in for a haircut. It was like people with the tiniest amount of hair and tiniest amount of facial hair. But they were like, oh, I can't be bothered to do it at home. So I'm going to go get someone else to do it for me. Granted, the person that does it already is good. Anyway, uh, I was like, there's actually only really uh, so one other person that actually needed the haircutting and it was just wild and he practically went to skinhead mode I was like wow he looks completely different and then I look completely different because my hair was just thick and wild and like, it looks <clears throat> much better uh, so today a bit of a stroll now then go home and I'm actually going to go to Todmorden um, stay there for a bit uh, and try walk around Centervale Park because the last time I was there uh, I did a lot of recording stuff and uh, I'd like to do that again today tell you something that will be weird as well trying to go back not, well not trying to go back to work but actually going back to work, not trying to. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I think I've said this previously in either a separate video or I think I've talked about it, but I actually haven't because it's all up there. Um, but I'm doing five midnight today. I've normally either done five to eleven. Or I've even done like a five to half one, but a five to twelve. It's different. So it means like as McDonald's are shutting, and it comes to like the clothes, I can bugger my phone. But I'm gonna try get as much done as I can before twelve because then it's like in pristine condition then for it to be closed for tomorrow. Or well, for tonight, anyway. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Sunday's not the night you associate with people with drinking. Is it really? Don't think so. So, I'm in Tomberden. Uh Yeah. Busy. Quite busy. Um, so, I'm going to have to keep vlogging to a minimum. Nice to be back here again. So the last time I ended up coming here, it was like really quiet and, and dreary. It is completely the opposite now. It's really nice. So yeah, sorry about that. Just try to walk around. And then two people with no sense of direction. So I thought they'd try cycle past me. And one of my dogs went from and you know what? I'm happy they did go for them because they were that fucking stupid that, uh, well, if you're gonna be dumb and try slalom round me, then, uh, no offense, but you get what you deserve. Do you know, when I came last time, it was quite easy to do some filming. Uh, it's not today, it's a bit more challenging because there are a lot of people on the uh, the park there's a lot of people because it's a Sunday and uh, well there's a lot of people out so it just means I have to watch where I'm walking talking etc being able to let the dogs off it's been that busy I've been like, do you know, I'm not going to let them off. Where's this go? Dogs must be on the leash. Hold on, Chester, this way. Because of that sign, dogs must be on the lead. 
and I'm just going that way. Yeah. I tell you what, the last time I came it was a lot more enjoyable because because it was of, because of the weather and there was a lot of people because there was so much puddles and flooding. People took it amongst themselves to like try walk through these puddles and get uh, well, not as wet as they can but they were like getting soaked and it was quite amusing to watch but maybe it's just because I'm tired maybe I don't know I've been so sleepy getting since getting to top since Tobedon so sleepy oh quite frankly need a nap God, I'm so bothered what's that what's that way I'm not sure where I'm going. Yes, I'm coming, Holly. So yeah, previously when I came here last, like all this bit, like down here, was just completely flooded. And literally the school is just there. Just like there. So like loads of people were walking down this bit. And yeah, they got wet, and it was quite amusing to watch. Do you know, it seems ages ago since some knobhead kids were just like down there, like being a bloody pain in the hassle. A little stage there. It seems like such a wild band, doesn't it? But it was only like 10 minutes ago. But I was just like, I even, I literally, because I remember literally saying straight away, like, if you're going to cycle around me and my dogs like that, and my dogs are going to react the way they did, I don't blame them. Because if the kids are going to be stupid, then they'll get punished. And to be fair, if you're stupid, and you're going to, if you're going to be stupid, then you are going to get punished for it. I will hide no sympathy for them kids at all. Surely they might be youngish, but they've got to learn. So you're waiting for that stick to be thrown. And where's Chester? He's there. God, you can barely see him. He's just there. So we need to go this way? What is here anyway? It looks like... A oh, danger warning for what exactly? Off the water levels. Okay, confined space. Oh yeah, I'm not even filming it. I wonder where that ends up going then. Yeah, I wonder where that goes. Thought I'd get a bacon sandwich. Oh. Nice. Last time I was here I didn't even film this. There was this there was the orange car, yes, but not the Clio. Nice, they look cool, don't they? Okay, so I'm upstairs in one of the spare rooms. Um, I'm not just sat here just randomly uh, having a rest. I was actually phoning for a taxi for tonight because cause I'm doing a five till midnight. Um, I've organised for a taxi to come for ten past twelve. Um... Just means I can get enough time in. And you never know, if it's not too bad, it's possible they might say, Jamie, you can finish early. If I get absolutely everything done on time, it looks great and everything, then possibly. Even still, even if I do finish at 12 o'clock, which is what I'm scheduled, I've still got 10 minutes left to get changed or just freshen up, etc. And then go, uh, get a taxi and go home. Thankfully tomorrow I'm not working. So that's kind of the funny thing. Sunday, today, five till midnight, and tomorrow day off completely. And then it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
then Sunday off. So actually I'm doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five days in a row. And um, I was thinking it was half term this week, but it actually turns out to be next week. So everyone will be finishing on that the Friday. And on that Friday, I'm doing five to half one, which shouldn't be too bad. My shifts this week shouldn't be too bad. If it all plans out well and goes out fine, everything should be fine. 